And welcome back. I'm nice to nice. Uh, I did a small bit of a boo boo. Uh, basically, first off, good news. And this is the only piece of good news. I the the original, this one, and this one, and then this guy. I also found myself. Uh, an applin. Now for the bad news. Oh. Oh wait, you saw it in the last part. How do I explain this? I accidentally continued and done this route. Oh yeah, we have the bike now. You use the plus. Hold on, let me get, let me backtrack. So the episode four ends um, with me about to select um, fire, like flame wheel, fl fl fire charge, flame charge, flame charge, and basically I one shot the guy's Pokemon like at that point. So the so this guy, hold on. This guy outfits me with the bike and says, here you go, here's the bike. So then I go, I catch uh, three more uh, Galarian Farfetch'd. And I get about here-ish. Like, it's around here. Maybe a little further down. And uh, Hop's here and he's like, oh hey, let's fight. And he gives you the option to fight. And me being a complete dumbass and not paying attention, fought him and... Well, I'm the victor, and um, I don't have proof to show you, but that's not the only thing I did. I also went here and just fought this lady, and you can tell I haven't done much because uh, I didn't pick up this item. Three special attacks. I haven't fought the lady up there, touch, tossing her ball. And now I'm gonna head back, because I also found another item. And don't worry, I didn't pick it up. Not last time. Everyone down here has yet to fight me still, so fight me good sir. Oh no wait, I don't have my Galarian Farfetch fully healed balls. Adrian! Stuffle. Fuck. I mean, not that it doesn't matter, but a lot of people I noticed are like just putzing around in Galar, so. You're just seeing highlights of their playthrough. It's not like you're actually seeing their full playthrough. You're just seeing bits and pieces. So for me, it's like, oh, I accidentally missed Hop's battle. And the reason why I missed it actually was because... <sighs> How did I put this? I was waiting for um, supper to happen. And I'm told, oh, hey, it's going to be like 45 minutes. These parts are about an hour long, so if in the middle of a part I'm told I have supper and I and I spend like let's say 15, 20 minutes having supper and such, it's like it's like that's stuff I'm gonna take out of the video. And I can't really add on to the video after I've edit after I've already like put it together and such, so it's gonna be tough. And also, lucky for me, um, the parts I have right now, they all fully function. And now for the reason why the last one accidentally, you know, cut out early. And no, it's not like last time where my uncles came over and uh, 
cost me to cut the part off a tad bit early. What happened was that, for some weird reason, I had uh, I had the uh, Elgato say, uh, I told, what happens is I have the settings on my Gato set uh, for where the library is supposed to be held. And basically, the uh, where the library was was inserted on the bad uh, two gigabyte hard drive, not the good one. But the whole part exported properly to the original file, so I'm like, that was weird. I have it outfitted perfectly fine now, so we're all set to go and good to go. And that's everything I have covered. And oh, there's another trainer here. And I forget to revive my Galarian. Farfetched. Deborah. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I. I did forget something. Okay, cool. This will be a good chance to show this off. Hopefully, she's still there. Cute charm. Please tell me that's your only Pokemon. I'm gonna lose you if you have another Pokemon. Please, not another Pokemon. Steeny. Alright. Come on. Thank you. Now get out of my sight. Alright, now, for the item. There's a TM right here. I waited all that just for a tract. Well, at least now I can teach it to whatever it needs to be taught to. So, now for the thing I, I'm losing my mind about. Uh, I'm going to show you a specific fight. Um, hopefully, you know, I, I'm able to get there. So... Oh. So after this trainer is the, um... After this trainer is the... Uh, Holbury. So right after I finish off this trainer, I am going to heal up my Mon, and I'm gonna go show you guys something in the wild area. Don't worry, it doesn't appear now. Um... It's going to... It's just a trainer I need to fight. Okay, that's it. I'm swapping out this Pokemon. I'm swapping out Core Wee for uh, bouncing, bouncing Bomb. Tatakoi, come get me, rock the dragon. Gabrielle, you get your Pokemon to do your work for you. Ugh. Hey, people like you. Holbury. It's funny, I thought I saw him with two R's. Uh, there's the Galarian elephant Pokemon. Uh, okay. Come on. Get in, get in, get in. Yes! Alright. Finally, Farfetch will be back to float power. The reason why I have Applin on a team, because it evolves from a very specific item. And we don't get that till like nearing the end of the game. So I'm just having here as a spare, like super effective typing for the water gym. Now if you excuse me, I'm into the wild area.
<coughs> Jesus. Thank you. Alright guys, I spent the last part of like 10 minutes trying to find this character. This is Pokemon Breeder Chloe. I think she has all the starters. Not 100% sure. Let's battle. I've... Yep. Chloe. Oh, you're a difficult woman to find. Yeah, she has all three starter evolutions. Oh, you find out at different points in the game. I spent the latter part of like 10 minutes trying to find her. Trying to find videos to them. Where to find her. Let's do this. Hopefully we learn the crit. Super effective? I don't think I got a crit on that. Nope. Balls. Well, there goes one crit. Square bunny. Well, at least I'm fighting type, so I'm... I'm not super effective on any of you guys, but I'm not, uh... Offensively capable either. So, rock smash, go! I need a crit. Yeah! Hashtag yeet! Oh no, it's poor score bunny, no! Don't worry buddy, I got gotcha. you. Sobble. Zawata type. Brutal swing. Crit please. Crit. Heck yeah. Yeah, I have this one outfit. Funny, this is the one that had the leak, and now it has to be renamed to match everybody else. I'll wonder trade, I mean, surprise trade, my Galarian, uh, my other Galarian, um, Pokemon. My other Galarian, Bletha Bleth, uh, what was it called? Farfetched. Anyway. Okay, after spending the latter half of 10 minutes trying to find a dumb trainer, let's move on with the bloody story. Hold on. Thought I saw that. Blowski, give it here. Thank you, boy. Blowski. Alright, I'm a little cheered up now. Hold on, we don't even know your name yet. Yikes. But we've seen you twice before. Rush off. I get to do more autographs. Oh my god. I just realized this. Chairman Rose has a pop belly. Or like a beer belly. Whatever you want to call it. Manaja Terabyte. Bead, sir. <laughs> Bead. <laughs> you know what? If everyone's gonna call him Bead, I can make some major, major puns out of that. So here's my first Bead pun. He's gotta beat a man. <laughs> all right. You know, with all these Bead puns, I'm going to have to make a Bead counter. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll keep it on score elsewhere. I'm not going to put it in the video. I'll actually put it in the description. Yeah, that'll be smart. Sure, putting it on, uh, on the screen is nice, but that takes too long for what I'm doing. Someone's there, so we can't go in. Okay, let's look around. Isn't that Nessa? Sorry, that was my mom. She just came in and brought in dress shoes for no reason. Don't know why she brought in dress shoes. They're not mine. Let's talk to this girl. So you must be Nessa. Why is that everyone was in a tizzy over her skin tone in the fan art? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Door's by Leon. 
Why is it that it's that obvious I'm endorsed by the champion? I mean, yeah, the champion wouldn't, you know, outfit people with Pokemon so easily and readily, you know, make them available for the gym challenge, but... Come on. So I think there's a few items down here. Yep, I'm right. Net balls. Uh, water or buck type. Huh. That'd be good to catch a masquerade in. Wouldn't it be four times super effective? Ah. Uh, ball guy! Oh my god, my cousin had a blast with ball guy. He and I, we had a freaking blast. Actually, now that I'm here, I'm going to quickly head over to the uh, store. It's up here. Whoa, I just sideways into someone's, like... Wait, is this not... Oh, it must be elsewhere. Hold on, back in a second. Um, found an item here. Magnet. Why? Kindle. Kindle, buddy. How about a magnet for Christmas, huh? Also putting Kindle on top, as well as Blowski with Nepal. And you and you. Like that. That's the order I want to go in. Um, just, there's normally a store, yeah, we're back in Monasto quick quick, I just want to show you guys the outfits you get from gym leaders, so we go here and we do this, so there's the challenger uniform, oh wait, you Oh! And the grass one. So we can wear this in the overworld, basically. Yeah, let's go. But I'm also gonna outfit myself with some glasses. And gloves. Well. No. Oh, these look stunning. Hold on, I'm gonna put these on, actually. Actually, they're the most expensive pair on the block. Holy cow. That's a bit. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Okay, sorry for so many cuts. But you see how I'm wearing this thing? So basically, you can only wear your challenging gear and the other outfits in the overworld you can't wear like this stuff when you go to the gym challenge or on your bike for that matter which completely sucks <laughs> i mean you could change your outfit later but it just looks like your pokemon it doesn't look like you speaking of which i want to take a look at this quick like these are the other types ghost ice Huh. That's very telling. Um. Sorry, these are technically spoilers. I mean, not that these are spoilers, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Normal. Why is there no normal type person? Normal type is super strong. Psychedelic over here. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it doesn't ask you to wear it right away. You can't tell I like the steel uniform. So... Wait, will she make me... Let's do it. Uh, I'm in my uniform! <laughs> she, I just put away my bag, basically. Alright, you're in your uniform. I don't get it. <laughs>
So let's do this gym. Oh boy. You know what's funny? I'm halfway through the episode on my marker, but in my head I'm like, oh goodness, I'm at like... I have to be at like 10 minutes now or something. I cut out so much of the episode. <laughs> Yep. Uh, oh yeah, I helped in my team already, right? With, uh, what's his name? Yep, we're getting that magnet from down below. I never knew about that magnet. I never went down there in my entirety of my playthroughs. Spark should practically kill at this range. And I think Yamper is close to evolving. It evolves in like one or two more levels, right? One shot. Train it, and... Oh, he's... ready to evolve. Hell yeah. That's awesome. My temple! You're what now? Kindle is evolving. Bolton... The dark Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So this water puzzle. I was stumped here. For like... 10 minutes just looking at the very end of the puzzle. You'll see what I mean in a small bit. But I was like studying the puzzle and I just went, huh? This got me initially, but... Yeah. Because the switches switch all of that color, not just the one you're currently using. So you switch one, all of them change. So all the reds and all the yellows just change like that. Oh wait, I didn't nuzzle. Whoops, I meant spark. <sighs> Don't care what yellow <laughs> lightning type electric type, sorry. Electric type with a magnet. Gonna one shot ya. So we hit this to push that down. Then with this. So now we can walk. If you wonder why I'm heading down instead of heading immediately to the red, um, this is what actually got me stumped initially. Because then you go red, then you go blue, and then you're like, wait, I'm stuck on yellow. And then you try to find another yellow switch, and you're like, like I can't go back from there, so... And that's what got me stumped for like 10 minutes. And I was like... I'll show you exactly where I was when I figured out my puzzle. The puzzle. Sorry for the excessive cuts I have to make. Ugh. Oops. Lost, you want to learn assurance? Uh, wait.
I'll keep bite. It's the same power. Alright, so I don't know why I was stuck. I was here, looking back and forth, and not really seeing the girl beneath me. So those are like red, blue. So the blues go there, and they outfit like that. And then the red goes elsewhere, and it's like, wait a minute. My remaining yellow is here. And I can't really change it, because then I'm sunk everywhere else. So what do you do? Yellow first. Red. I was stuck for like 10 minutes just looking at this. This was kind of the reason why I didn't like Nessa's gym. Also, Eagle Eyed viewers. Pay attention. Red, blue, yellow. Those are the colors of the first generation. A nice nod, a nice touch. And not many people I know who have played this played this far have commented on it. And also, to Chugga Conroy, if he does mind up playing, you know, Sword and Shield at any point, you can... You can't say now that, oh no, no one's pointed this out in so many years or whatever, like he normally does. But he normally does it to obscure things. I'm just saying, I pointed that out first. Because you're just like red, blue, yellow, and it's like whatever. You think it's ar arbitrary colors. I only noticed that after I completed the, uh, the challenge. I'm like, oh yeah. Red, blue, yellow. That was the first generation in America. But it was red, green, blue in Japan, and then yellow came out. We never got a green here, which was kind of sad. But, whatever. I'm, I'm coming to tolerate your gym a bit more, Miss Nessa, because now I can solve it with ease. <laughs> Instead of spending 10 minutes doing nothing. Also, my chant can use some work, so I've come to amend a couple of things for that chant. <coughs> I am hoping to say it properly without any slurs at all. Very stoic. Yeah, this music's bitching. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I can't get enough of the gym leader music. Oh, I want it all on my playlist. <laughs> I was about to Dynamax, so like, wait. <laughs> no. Spocking. Ooh, Arrokuda. <clears throat> oh. Sorry about that. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, no, that's the champ for Score Bunny. Ooh, how do I chant for Kindle? You know what? No, I don't need a chant for Kindle. I got something interesting. 
Looks like I'm done with my last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Her Dreadnought. Rock. Water Rock type. It's male. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway. Start challenging how chala head chala. <laughs> Cause. We're getting sparking. <laughs> Sorry. I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was my controller falling. <laughs> I've make the flood the stadium and make it your ocean. Dreadnought, time to Dynamax. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, water's still effective with a water rock type? I mean, I knew that was a thing. This is a little gift from us. Hope you can take it. <sighs> Man, the water's freaking gorgeous. Wait, what? I'm lost. What happened? Does she have like a secondary, like, high attack move that I don't know about? Oh, you don't have a grass type move. Let's go. Blowski. Normally, I began to max you in my other file, but let's try fake out. But I use fake now. Well, he's dead. Go Balowski. Ha, eat that. Okay, he's faster than me. Did not know that. Let's see here. You know what, let's try this. Go leak. Rock smash. Come on. You're faster than me? Don't. Holy crap. Good, finally. Yeesh. I like it better when you're happy, not when you look like my aunt. <laughs> I mean, my aunt. Uh... 
commemorative TM and the water jersey. The water uniform. Alrighty. Did I talk? I swear. I'm gonna have to make this part like an extra like 30 minutes long just to compensate. Set here. Mm. So right after this is the fire trial. Oh great. Don't worry, you you bought me lunch, I'm fine. Does he think he's doing me a favor? You call me here to eat. I'm just eating amongst adults and minding my own business playing my Game Boy. <laughs> Retaliate a move that does double damage when someone's died in the previous turn. That could be a pain in the butt for most people, but no one runs TNs in this game. Forgive me, I forget. If we come, if we come here early, we'll see Team Yell here. Sorry, I wasn't covering that because I was too distracted by other things. Anyway, I'll be back in a small bit. I'm gonna make a separate recording for this, just because. Um, not that I feel like it, but because I need to have it edited down. So this will. Okay, we're back from the small intermission, and. While I was back and waiting for the video to process a small bit, not on YouTube, just in general, because I have to still edit it, because it's, it's 15 minutes of almost nothing happening, so I gotta cut it down by half. So this next part's gonna be about, like, another 15 minutes long. And we're going through the mines, basically. Uh, yeah, so let's find... There he is, the man himself, Mr. Bead. <laughs> Tell Jack Puns with his name. <sighs> hmm. Naturally, we do battle. Our eyes have met. We do battle. I'm hitting A, okay. Solosis, right. Oh, uh, wait, I still have Bolt Hunter out, right? Kindle. Oh, yeah. Bite. Go. Yeah, we're going a bit strong. Yeah. Well, I beat the second gym leader. Gothita. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back.
two minute cut I have to make. So not everyone, not everyone can coin my team, right? So Galarian Ponyta, I believe this Pokemon is like exclusive to Shield. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but we saw it in the uh, freaking what's it called? In that live stream, that 24-hour live stream that like had something like wiggle every like couple of minutes. I would understand it was like a four, not not four, a 360 video, but like just a flat screen and every like 10 minutes something wiggled or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, you see that thing on the ground? You think it's a Pokeball? Oh no, it's a bear trap. <laughs> Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk. This is a ground skill type, much like, uh, what's its name? Um, one moment. Excadrill and Jolber. There we go. Uh, no, I didn't think these things had gender. Hmm? What the heck did he use? Whatever. Catch you in a great ball, let's go. I gotta change those shades. <laughs> Whoa, not even a wiggle. Whoa. Oh, I just noticed. It has the, the exclamation mark on its bottom rather than on top. Hey, come on, just bite. That looks better. Let's try catch it again. One shake. Two shake. Three and capture. Heck yeah. I'm gonna think of a better nickname for it right now. I just wanna go through and fight this guy. And since Stunfisk is here and it's ground type, hello Pokedoll. Um, let's throw in Leak and have Bouncer come in second. I mean, Bouncing Bomb. Bouncer. Yeah, that could be his nickname. Bouncer. Let's go. <laughs> Nepal. I need to exchange for something else. Oh yeah. By the way. I realized this after a while, but just because my... Sorry, this has to do with Galarian Yamask and why it didn't evolve when I brought it to the location, even though I had 1 HP. It needs to have, number one, taken 49 or more damage. Be surviving, and basically after that, it'll evolve when you're under the slum... When you're under the, uh... The location. Meanwhile, I'm still short on my surge fetched. For Galarian Farfetch to evolve, it takes it to have hit an opponent with three crits. I have a leak and I've yet to get a crit yet. On my other profile, not my other profile. Oh, there's a crit. That has to be, yeah, there's a crit, that's one. But it needs to be in one battle, though. So you need to land three crits in one battle. It can't be throughout the thing's lifespan. Otherwise, it would have gained it anyway. Also, it still evolves if you got two crits, it died, then you revived it, and then you crit again. It'll evolve. 
because you still fulfilled the requirement. It doesn't reset. Thank goodness for that. And no, I didn't have to test that. I actually learned that. I did that myself uh, unknowingly. Here's a spot of fishing. Feel the rumble. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was Feebass. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, that's an odd shape. I'm like, is there a Feebass? Nope. It's uh, Barboach. Ground and water. Brutal swing. Crit. Crit, 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 crit. Can I get a crit? Oh, rest? Well, at least you're tanking now, so who knows? Maybe I'll crit three times in a row off this thing while it's asleep. Crit. That's a crit. It's one. So it's gonna wake up. Fast asleep. Doesn't even rest last like a turn? That's weird. Doesn't it last a turn? Did they debuff rest so you have to like last two turns without getting hit? That's harsh if that's the case. That's majorly harsh. That sucks. Or is that like Something but Bar Barboach does. I hope not. Like, I know you go to sleep one turn, and then after one turn you wake up, but I was asleep for like two turns, right? <sighs> Whatever. I won that fight. That's all I technically care about, but I'm just like, uh, oh boy. Take him out. Come on, buddy. This thing has its leak. I, I'm not exaggerating. Crit, please. That's one. Nope. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Bouncing bomb, let's go. Polowski. Why do you make it look like you're trying to kiss me and then you're like extremely happy? Is it like I kissed you back? I don't know. I do not know, but that's uh... That's interesting. Whatever. Yeah, I have the leak. It's right there. What the hey? While I'm at it, where's Belowski? Belowski spoke a little, he's had this for a small while. Hello, boys. Excuse me. I can imagine these guys trying to sound like a young, um, what's his name, what's those two, uh, Bulk and Skull from the original Power Rangers, I can imagine them trying to pull off a Bulk impression. 
Wait, what? Sorry, I was hitting B. Whoops. Hey guys, sorry, I'm back. Jeez, we're gonna knock your block off. So, hey, how have you evolved your uh, Wulu yet? Sorry, in the last battle, he didn't evolve his Wulu or any of his three team members, so. Nope, it's still a Wulu. Wait. They're both Dark type, right? Oh, yeah, they're both. <laughs> Night slash that Wulu. Snarl. Oh no, my special attack. Thank you for not lowering my attack stat. Oh, hit a crit. You have the leak. My other freaking... What's it called? Farfetched doesn't... Like, like, it crits more frequently. I get to crit every like second attack almost. This one. Crit. That has to be a crit. Yep. That's one crit. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Oh, I got to summon another one. So I have enough for. Corvus Squire. See? Now it evolved. Well, actually, I think that was the only member of his team that evolved. Let's try attacking the Thievul. Use Nasty Plot. And special Attack and Defense Rise, correct? Crit, please? Can I get a crit? Yes! That's two in a row! One more! I just need one more. Come on. Hit me up, Scotty. Come on. Little sweep. Oh boy. Please, please. Okay, I'm set. I'm set. I'm set. Oh no, my speed fell. Giga burst. No, I, if I want him to. If I need him to evolve, he needs to stay in. I need one more crit. Just one more, and I have two pork one to do it with. Light part use first wife, avoid it, fuck. Okay. Okay, good, it's just work up. Okay, come on. Fury swipes. Five. Fuck. Rock smash. Come on, crit, please. Crit, 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 crit. Yes, that's three in a row. So now he will evolve after the match. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't want you to start off the next fight dead. Well, let's do this. Pluck. It should be dead, thanks to the pluck. I forgot if it didn't die to it. That was three crits. I should evolve. I should. We'd use a horn... I would have had a better chance of winning. <laughs> Whatever, you two, give me your wallet. Yeah, I go surf fetched. Let's go, let's go fight fetched. Let's go. Heck yeah, surf fetched. I salute you.
Funny, I thought in the original design he didn't have a shield. I guess they either added it or I wasn't fully paying attention. You get iron defense. Sure, why not? Or do I prefer accuracy down? Hmm. Actually, this thing's, this thing becomes a really, really heavy hitter later down the line. I'm gonna keep him with uh, sand attack because I'm uh because you got mud in your eye kind of deal. Anyway, we're about 17 minutes in to the fight. 15 minutes. All right. Uh, whoa! What? So hey, whatever, let's test out my new Surfetched. So this thing's a water ground type, or, yeah, no, it's just water ground, so. Yeah, Brutal Swing, go. Ah, oh, it doesn't, like, swing its sword circularly like the animation intends to. Come on, Brutal Swing. I swear, I think my thing has a defective leak, or if not, it's the name. I'll outfit you with a better name later, leak. Or, leak? <laughs> Go, avoid the bear trap. Let's fight this guy. Oh, there's a TM there. Steam power can end. Oh, isn't that the uh, special ability of Roly Coley? Not the special ability, the uh, the natural ability. It's like Steam Engine. If you hit by a water or fire type move, you increase in speed. But then they outfitted a lot of stuff that makes it fast. So thus, not only are you fast, you also make more things susceptible to heat with to fire attacks with like Tar Shot, which is an amazing, amazing ability. Like. It's like a speedy tank, but it also deals heavy damage, which is kind of the thing I'm aiming for with my next uh, playthrough. Enough of that, let's fight this Onyx! Oh, he doesn't have it. Well, Rock Smash to go. More like Rock Slice, am I right? Oh, that was a crit. Youch. Super effective, crit, and I still don't one shot. Ow, and I'm a level higher. I need to check Surfetch's nature actually now that I'm here. Now there's a, a second crit in the row. Alright, this is starting to look to be a better leak user. Scary face. No, I don't want learning that. If you guys heard that, that was other people talking. Let's see here. And now I'm gonna go and check on what's his on uh, Surfetch. Come on. Oh, I just have an attack boosting. It's very quirky. Kind of how I feel about it. Fast, but I'm not looking for nature. I'm looking for. I was looking for a leak and something rather strong to use it with. Oh, that's a cart coal. <laughs> a cart of coal. Our car made of coal. Wait, that's his, that's his, like, sweat scarf, right? Oh. Okay, it also looks like it's a part of his outfit. He looks like he's ready to, like, keep jogging, even though the guy looks like he's, like, really old. But I'm just going, that guy, he's ship-shaped. 
Well, we're out of the cave now, so, uh, yeah, we gotta stop in the Badoo Badoo drop in for the night. Sure, whatever. Yeah, Poke Jobs, we're not doing those. There's an item behind here. I completely missed this on my first playthrough. So I came back here after I found it. Uh, I don't know if it's exclusive to Shield, but there's a Pokemon here. It's uh, you fought it against uh, Bead. He he has a hat, uh, a hat, a hat knee, a, 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 a hat a and basically you can catch those here and evolve them. Bloody hell. Fighting type, go! <clears throat> Yamper doesn't have static, so I'm safe. That was a crit too. Oh, Come on. At least I'm not flying type. I'm going to outfit Leak with a better name. Oh no wait, that was the fighting move. Uh. Ouch. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Can you stop telling me that? Uh, bouncing bomb. Let's go. One shot. Wait, who's learning this move? Oh, you are. You're learning the fact. You know, when we get better. I want to use Detect, but I don't want to. I want this to be like a fully offensive Pokemon. Charm. No. Let's see. Roganola. Nope. I'm going to do a couple of encounters here. Noctowl is my, like, second favorite Pokemon of all time. But... Come on. Really? Another Roggin? Well, I'm gonna do a quick check-me-up. Running... Alright, it's an overworld spite sprite, so I can't miss it. Oh, there's coughing. We could get glaring coughing. Hmm. Let's do it. Yep, I knew it. Wait, that was a crate? Huh. So you call that a crit. I don't care. Whoops, wrong button press. Go 
Golfing. Let's try this. If not, another uh, rock smash should do it. Okay, one more time. Whatever. Try this one more time. Come on, get in the ball coughing. Yes, coughing. All right, you guys have seen the memes, you guys know the reference, you know what I'm gonna nickname this guy. In fact, he is a dude. So glad I get to say that. Uh. Doug D. Dimidome, owner of the Dim Cell Dimidome. Poison type. Hmm. Kind of like that. So I'm going to put him here. Alright. Come on, Hatney. I know you're... I know you're... Wait, what? Oh, I thought he... I... Because, uh... So I'm just going to encounter Pokemon in one way, so that I can see if we can get that 10% encounter happening. I've been in the games already, a lot of people have been in the games already, so... Not that I'm spoiling it for you guys, but whatever. Sudowoodoo. Noctowl. Noctowl has a 40% encounter here. Wait. Oh wow. There's one more Pokemon in uh, sh in the Shield version in this area. I didn't know that. Wait. Does my guy have that ability? Hold on. Oh no, my guy has Levitate. Uh, I'm gonna try them with neutralizing gases to see if that'll do anything. You know what? Ooh, that's a crit for sure. Hell yeah, I knew it. <laughs> when you look at the damage and you're like, oh, that's a crit. <laughs> Alright, this should do plenty. Just enough to, uh, to put it down. Hell yeah. Uh... 
You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I mean, he has a son, Dale Dimadome, but he never mentions his wife. And since Friendly Our Parents ended, if Blood Department ever sees this, and I doubt he does, um, create a. Da uh, no, not Dallas. I was gonna say Dallas Dimadome. I'm like, wait, that does not ring well. That sounds like a son name. Create a, um... A Donna Dimidome. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, so I'm gonna head off and... Hello, police officer? Hello, hello! What's all this then? Fancy a scrap of the copper? Uh Growlithe. Brutal swing, let's go. Why one HP with leak? You're not up to snuff right now, all of a sudden. I mean, I've seen leak crit before, but like crit with like and leave like yellow bar. I never seen him crit and like never seen him crit and like fail like that. Like, come within, like, an inch of their life. It's like, come on. You couldn't strike with a bit more finesse? Doesn't matter. There's shinies on those... There's shinies here, and basically... You... outfit yourself that way. Alright, do drop in. Forgot about that. Uh. Oh, hey, Marnie. Okay, so now that that's broken the silence, um, I, lo I really like Marnie's theme. You can almost hear you can almost hear Team Yell yelling in the background. They're just like it's just like a random crowd cheering. I like it. So let's pluck this thing out of existence, shall we? Good work. Nicely done, Core Weaver. Core will weave. I will weave. It's a magic of the gathering. Uh, I'm not, it's a magic. It's a magic thing in Dungeons and Dragons. I saw more Peko, didn't I? Uh, balls. You know what? When in doubt, Balowski! Balowski. Balowski. Sorry. <laughs> if you're wondering, Balowski is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX reference, if you couldn't tell.
Bye. So yeah. Here comes payday. You owe me money, lady. <laughs> yeah. Funny thing about more Peko. Um, how do I say this without fully spoiling it? You know what? I can't. So I'll wait until until I can get to that point. I mean, it's a one-stage pick with True Claw and Pokemon right now, and well, it has multiple forms, but like those are like independent of you. It's an interesting gimmick, but I like it. Level 30. Once learn head bite. Heck yeah, I'll take flinch chance over going first, guys. I'm going first pretty much all the time. It'd be no fun to think stuff like this, that's why we're giving everything we got. Scraggy. Double kick. Here we go. <coughs> Super potion. Uh... Ah, full of stores. Damn it. <laughs> It fully restored her. Come on, crit. Arg. <laughs> Not enough. And Feeny. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all. Well, um. She gave me. She gave me my money. Um, don't I have to? Oh, okay. Immediately then. Uh, with that, normally I'd call this a part, but I have some stuff to do, so I'm going not to end this part here. I mean, stuff to do in game. So I'm gonna do the gym. And the gym battle. So you get a two for one gym battle this time. And the next time we'll be heading out towards elsewhere. When it hits us up with some burn hails. Thank you. Urada to you. Oh wait, I am not equipped to fight. Um, what's his name? Ka... Kabu. I'm not equipped. Who do I have on the team? I am ill equipped to tackle him. No. All I have is Jaw Dropper. Grr. He needs to be fully evolved in order to tackle the gym. You know what? Let's tackle it with the team I have right now. With Leek and his crits, I'm pretty sure we should be strong enough. Also, for those who don't know, if you're playing Shield version, the Glaring Farfetch'd is um, not available. So don't go expecting to get this easy of a Pokemon out immediately. So let's do this. Um, hold on, before I do this. You know what? I'm set. I'm set. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it.
You know what? I just came up with the title for this episode. Through the Fire and the Waves. <laughs> Five points in the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn one for defeating a Pokemon and two for catching. Well, as the Pokemon I want. Mission start. Come on, let me start. Let me start. I want. I want you. Wait, what? Full pick. Go leak. Oh yeah, I forgot to outfit him with a name. You know what? Uh, I'm just part naming him. Whoa, wait, whoa. Watch how she go. Little wisp. Come on. Good, that did nothing, so now I can catch this thing. This is a guaranteed capture right now. Yep. Uh, next encounter. And you have Sazilipede. You know what? Rock Smash again. Oh, f I forgot. <laughs> Grr, I forgot. But I don't want to use Brutal Swing, it slices everything. Looks like I have to use Fury Cutter for a small bit. I mean, the power will increase as I use it, so that's fine. Flame Body? Ah, now you're weakening my strength. Oh, wait, I can use this. Oh, okay, thank God. It, he wasn't after me. Funny how they're all girls here. Two. Good. Good. Like with Scott. Litwick. I got an interesting name for it. Wikata. Because <laughs> it's Wick and Ricotta is a type of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Not the most interesting um, name. So what are we fighting here? Another female. Let's catch it. Could have a modest nature. Ho! Oh, I didn't know Incinerate used both on us. Steam engine? Dang. Come on, Rolly Coy. Alright, time to catch it again.
Good, caught it. Let's go. Send to a box. Mission cleared with six points, so I overexceeded your score. You're positively on fire, and now I fight you. Great. Um, okay. Be right back. Okay, back. That wasn't even a cut. <laughs> I just feel the vibes. Okay, suddenly this guy's personality is like going from from like, oh, he's like some interesting like well-rounded character to be like, he actually has some level of intimidation to him. That was weird. I have six burn heels, let's go. Okay. Okay, I... I'm gonna do another one. I'm not proud of having to spend this many potions and stuff, but... With the moves he's using right now, I could see myself still going at it for a small bit. Let's see here. Sand attack. Ah, great! There, with two of those, you satisfied. Brittle swing, let's go. It looks like he's getting ready to sing something. It's like, yeah! Uh, dear goodness. Okay, I'm swapping out. I'm swapping out. I'm tired of healing this guy. Let's head into Bouncing Bomb. Ah. How do you out... Whatever, I'm gonna let you kill me. I don't care. I need to swap the Bouncing Bomb anyway for free.
Wait. Shoot, he doesn't have his item. Whatever. Hey, I landed crit. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Pays, whatever. Um, whatever, I don't need haze. How many mon do you have? Do you have three mon? Oh, great, now you outspeed me. You're not the only one who can use agility here. I'm gonna double kick your face in. Okay, I realize I'm the slower of the two right now, so I'm gonna use agility as well. Oh goodness. Just in case he tries to match me. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um. How about wait. My speed is plus four. I'm gonna max it out. <laughs> agility! I use agility! When you attack a small man, I use agility! I'm gonna max it out again. I also use agility. I'm also maxed out. <laughs> sure, my attack lord, but now I know I'm faster than this thing. Headbutt, come on. Goodness. Crit out. So I'm going to use a super potion here. Because then for my final Pokemon, I'm going to switch into my Galarian Surfetched. Or just Surfetched. Oh boy. I need to stay at full HP. I'm gonna win this fight. I always forget agility ups your speed by two. I always do. Alright. Let's go for leak. And uh, pray for the best. Let that fire get your mind moving. <laughs> Alright, for Farfetch'd, let's see.
<laughs> right. Fight with all your might and let nothing get in your way. Evolve. Dynamax, Surfetch. Burn brights into scorch. Let Gigantamax change you. <laughs> so yeah, this is Gigantamax, and basically it's well, yeah. That was a crit? Alright, and we lowered the special defense. Flames always burn upwards, so we'll always aim higher. I couldn't finish reading that. Please don't one shot. Okay, good. Meaning I could. Wait. Oh, it has fire spin. Um. Basically. Um. Okay, I can't. I'm faster though, right? Yeah. So, I still get some damage in, I put him in yellow a small bit. I'm not going to survive this next turn, but my next turn I'm going to summon in somebody. I doubt I'll survive this. Our curses that fire spin. Grr. You know who would be good in this situation? Kindle. Nuzzle. I am still faster than you! And now I'm even faster. <laughs> And well, that's crumbs right there. What, you thought gym leaders were permanent? Nah, mate. Gym leaders are bound to die the same rules you are. And as such, taste victory. Yay. Yeah. We have Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Yeah! Can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. So, with that, we basically unlock the other side of the, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? The, uh, the wild area. We gotta unlock the other side of that bridge. And that's where we gotta head for in the next, on the next episode. Before we end, we got the fire uniform, fire spin. And, yeah, we gotta hit the Hammerlock. But I'm gonna savor that. I'm just gonna... Uh... Hold on, wait. Uh, don't interrupt me, Hop. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. I forgot about this. This is interesting. I'll let this play out. Hurry it up, Nos. Dude, I'm... In real life, I am much faster than you. I outspeed everybody, like, I know. 
but you, sh but you still come all the way to see us. Oh, I bet you can already tell I'm the champion. <laughs> oh my god, don't be so conceited, Hop. You're, you're not champion yet. You have to earn it. There are many trainers who never managed to gather three the first three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. You should at least encourage the ones to at least take on, you know, Nessa, if that's the case. Oh, speak of the devil. Thank goodness for flying taxis. <laughs> Noss, hop, congratulations. <laughs> Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get a gym badge from Kavu. I mean... If you're not outfitted with a water type like I am, I like I was, I uh, you're sunk. Hustle, hustle, hop! You can do it! You can do it, Nos. Oh, that just does not feel right like coming out of his nose. If you just said hustle, you two. He's trying to sound very enthusiastic, and I like it, but just that doesn't feel like it. Just doesn't feel like those were proper encouraging words for, like, any character. They're encouraging, yes, but they're not, like... They're not the best choice of words, I guess. I always try and be careful about what words I say. I'm not making myself any more colorful of a lexicon than I already am. Yeah, so we see the bridge here. Yeah, if you didn't see my last video, I went... If you didn't see episode 3, I go here to try and find the... What's it called? The Dusty Bowl. I find the Dusty Bowl, but I find out I did something wrong. <laughs> Uh, here's bead. Uh, let's see for a bead pun. Uh, bead. Mm. Uh, freak, I'm gonna think of one. Cheapers. You know what? You... Mm. Man, I cannot think of beat puns right now. I need to quickly, 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 quickly get uh, this done because I'm coming to a little over an hour and six and like 26 minutes right now or something like that. I'm going to try and shorten, try to shorten this part and then people like keep coming in and stuff. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, outfit. Leek with a proper name. Where is he? Leek! Palamanja! Nickname. Your name is gonna be... You know what? Criticalis. I'm good. Alright. Uh, so, next time you see me, I'm gonna have a, a hat and knee, and I'm gonna have maybe a bunch of other Pokemon and uh, Pokemon ready to evolve. Till then, okay. See you next one. Okay. Ciao.